ambapo waziri wa usalama wa ndani daktari Fred Matiangi anazindua magari moja ambayo yanafaa kutumiwa na magereza yetu hapa nchini Kenya makote nchini tuvuke kule moja kwa moja kufuatilia hafla hiyo Our chief guest this, uh, this morning, Captain Secretary for Interior and the Coordination of National Government, Dr. Uh, Fred Matiangi, our CAs, Honorable Ntutu, our PAs, uh, Madam Senap, uh, Justice uh, Kimaru, uh, Head of uh, CSO, uh, Inspector General, uh, Mr. Joseph Wynette, Regional Commissioner Mr. Duko, Director of Probation and Aftercare, uh, regional, com regional Commanders, Station Commanders, Directors, re Prison Staff, and the invited guests. I wish to start by welcoming you all and all the esteemed guests at this event whose purpose is to flag off the new vehicles acquired under Government Lease Program. It is indeed a great occasion for the Kenya Prison Service, and we are delighted that you found time to personally preside over the function, despite your very busy schedule, our chief guest. As a department, we are mandated uh, to facilitate the administration of justice by producing offenders to courts, among others. Chief guest, transport is crucial in coordinating the functions of the service, hence our precision for the new fleet of 100 vehicles to be flagged off today. We have experienced transport challenges in the past, owing to high prisoners' populations and sophistication of crime. To this end, allow me to register my very sincere gratitude to you Chief Guests, who is our Cabinet Secretary, and the Principal Secretary in the Department of State Correctional, uh, Department of Correctional Services for your continuous support and guidance. Equally allow me to record my appreciation to Inspector General of Police, who is present with us today here, for always standing with us in provision of transport across our penal institutions, countrywide, as and when need arises. In conclusion, Chief Guest, we wish to assure you that the Department remains focused and continue, committed to achieving this mandate. We will continue to work closely with the other skilled agencies as provided for uh, public protection. And our assurance is that we will put the vehicles here to proper use and assist members of the public where necessary to deliver uh, services. With these few remarks, I want to, with your permission, CS, to invite our Inspector General to confirm that uh, the, 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 the customers he brings to us are safe and that the relations between the two services is good. Welcome, IG. And then after that, I think I will invite our peers, our peers to invite the CS. Thank you. Cabinet Secretary in the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government, the CAS in the Ministry, Mwashimiwa Olentutu, the PS in the Ministry as well for Correctional Services, Madam Zainab, the Commissioner General of Prisons, Mr. Osugo, and your regional Commanders as well as officers of all ranks who are present on this occasion. The RC Nairobi County, 
other heads of departments, within the ministry and other invited guests, members of the fourth estate. I want to thank the Commissioner General for inviting me to confirm that indeed the cooperation between the prison service and ourselves is strong and quite solid. We know our respective mandates. Sisi njotu nakamata wakora, tunapeleka kotini, alafu tunawapa our colleagues in the administration of justice kwa shugulikia bilivyo. And he has told me as he, as he was inviting me that all the clients that we were processed and are in their hands are all safe. It doesn't matter their status in society. What one I should cure in a standardized way, now what work of service of this morning. <laughs> uh, secondly, sir, I want to in the same breath confirm that the cooperation between the National Police Service and the prison service, as well as other agencies within the national security community, is good and is as a matter of fact excellent. We work very well in the multi-agency uh, format as instructed by His Excellency the President and I want to confirm in this instance that we have worked very very well with the prisons department whenever we require additional personnel to perform national duties like for instance the um, the past coverage of the general elections in the last year, as well as the coming examinations. We have drawn up operational plans and we have incorporated officers from the prison service and we are certain that the good work that we have done in the past will be done uh, quite well as uh, indeed again this year. Uh, with those few remarks, uh, I want to uh, thank you, Commission General, for giving me the opportunity and the permission of the CS to make those couple of confirmations. I thank you very much for listening to me, and God bless you. The CS, Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government, Dr. Fred Matiani, the Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry, Hon Tutu, Inspector General of Police, Mr. Joseph Boynet, Commissioner General of Prisons, Mr. Osugo, our Regional Coordinator, Nairobi Region, all the senior officers present here, my colleagues in the department, Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to the State Department for Corrections and to the large Ministry of Interior and Coordination of Government for this auspicious occasion where we see the flag of, of a fleet of vehicles by the Chief Guest, the CS. I want to take this opportunity, uh, CS, to thank you for the support you continue to give this department and for making this time today to officiate this function. Our mandate CS is Haki Nakurekebisha, meaning justice and rehabilitation. And I want to reassure you and everyone present here that this event today marks the strengthening of our capacity to carry out our mandate of rehabilitation for our prisoners. We also see us, this event marks a good starting point following up on the event we had two weeks ago of strengthening and supporting the welfare of our staff by ensuring they have the tools to work. I want at this point CS to also thank all my officers in the ministry headquarters at the prisons department for their continued efforts to support our reform program. CS, I believe, with the constant support you continue giving us, we will, in the next two, three years, be able to transform this department to deliver fully our mandate. As this is your day, CS, 
I would like now to welcome the Chief Administrative Secretary, who will then welcome you to carry out the official function. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our CS uh, for Correctional Services, uh, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, CS uh, Ministry of Interior, PS uh, Correctional Service, uh, Commissioner General, IG, Regional Commissioners, and all the officers, uh, good afternoon. I want to take this opportunity first and foremost to congratulate uh, the Correctional Service for now getting new vehicle. I know for a long time, uh, Buenos Aires Correctional Service, all the prison has been left out either in housing and even the issues of transport has for a long time become a problem. But I want to sincerely thank you because for the last uh, six months, we have been going around with you in, 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 in inspecting all the prisons. And I'm glad because the work that we have been doing with the ministry is to make sure that we support uh, correctional services and other departments in our ministry. We also, we are not going to forget that His Excellency the President's vision is to make sure that we support our staff who are in the field. That is why we see these uh, very new uh, good vehicles. Honorable, uh, uh, honorable CS, I just want to urge our prison officers, our, our uh, correctional services officers, that let's use this vehicle uh, properly. Because these are very durable vehicles, particularly the Land Cruisers, Toyotas, and the Isusus. If used properly, we can actually achieve a lot. I don't want to uh, continue from there. I now want to take this opportunity to welcome our CS. But before he comes, I will ask all of us to upstanding so that we welcome him uh, uh, with two good uh, hands. Let's just prepare our hands properly. To take a say to Yam Zemoi, at a Kiwako Kabarak, at a skier to call Sasa Pandei. Take a say, Moya Billy Tatu Karibu Rasias. Please, uh, thank you. Let's be seated. Thank you. Um, uh, my a good brother and friend, uh, the Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry, Honorable Ntutu, our Principal Secretary, Madam Sainabu Sen, the Commissioner General, uh, Prison Service, Mr. Osugo, <coughs> our brother, the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Joseph Boynet, the large team of national administration officials here who are led by our regional commissioner for Nairobi, Mr. Tuku, and all of you, my colleagues and friends uh, who have come here. I want to make a special mention of the Honorable Mr. Justice Luka Kimaru, who chairs the Community Service Order Committee from the Judiciary, who seated uh, with us, Justice Kimaru. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'll be saying one or two things shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, the function we have this morning is brief and straightforward. We are flagging off 100 vehicles for the National Prisons Service. And this is part of our program as government to modernize the prison service and the entirety of our correction service system. For a long time, sometimes it has looked like our correctional services are neglected or they are not part of our focus. But I want to confirm uh, to the country and to all stakeholders involved that our president has demanded that we adopt a comprehensive approach to reforming the security sector, including paying attention to the correctional services. And that is why recently you have seen an intensified drive 
to address the needs of the Correctional Services Department. I can report to you here that we have completed several buildings that were stalled, some for as many as 11 years, and some of our prison service staff uh, are now living in comfortable accommodation. We have embarked on a new program that will soon be rolled out to ensure that the correctional services utilize effectively the immense resources that have been endowed to us and ensure that our entrepreneurial capacity is exploited so that we can generate income both for us and for the rest of uh, the country. I'm grateful and I sincerely want to thank my colleagues in the ministry, especially this particular department, for the efforts that have gone into improving uh, the Correctional Services Department. P.S. I thank the Lord for you and I thank the Lord for the drive and energy that you have brought to the team. The Commissioner General, I have often told you that even if we have been working under difficult circumstances, you have still held out very well. And I can confirm again, as I have done several times to my colleagues in the Correctional Services Department, that our better and greater days are ahead, given the immense reform program that we are rolling out across the board. We are managing the security sector under the guidance we have been given by His Excellency the President to ensure that we adopt a multi-agency approach, that we work together. So that even the vehicles that we are flagging off today, yes, they have been entrusted to us in the correctional services, but they are within the pool of the security sector. When our colleagues in the National Police Service need them, they will be available. When our colleagues in the National Government Administration need them, they will be available. We will work as one and deliver as one government. Share the resources that have been entrusted to us by the people of Kenya to ensure that those resources go a long way to offer the services that our people need. And therefore, I want to ask the Commissioner General that as we continue the transformation program in our meetings, in our discussions with our officers, we have to entrench the multi-agency approach to ensure that we are one. Protecting TAF and always insisting on TAF does not help us. I say all these good things well aware that we have a lot to do and there's more that we need to invest in. Going into the future, we are looking at how we can decongest our prisons. We have numbers that are slightly higher than the capacities we have. That is why recently we are working together with the Ministry of Transport and the National Transport and Safety Authority, jointly with our colleagues in the Office of the Attorney General, to ensure that we support the Inspector General of Police in effecting the on-spot fines so that we don't have to have queues outside magistrate courts so that we don't have to feed 6,000 or so people on traffic offenses. Because as I've often pointed out, we will keep them in our remand custody. We will spend 10,000 shillings on them. Uh, when the fine they are actually going to pay is about 1,000 shillings, it just simply doesn't make economic sense. We have to think differently and uh, ensure that we provide better services as we move forward. And that's why I'm very grateful to our brother, Justice Luca Kimaru and the team that he heads from the judiciary. We have built a very strong relationship and going into the future we will try and even share resources within our disposal to ensure that we support his committee and support the judiciary to move forward on some of the decisions they need to make so that we decongest our prisons and our people access justice in real time. I said two weeks ago as the PS said that uh, we were at uh, Kahawa launching a new court, and we are going to do so in other courts, uh, I mean in other prisons across the country, so that we enhance access to justice, which is very important, and so that we don't have to spend so much time uh, moving people to the courts, because magistrates can very easily travel uh, to the prison premises. We have enough land, 
we have enough resources, and with the support of our development partners, this is the trajectory we want to go. My two last points are this, that one, I want to ask my colleagues that we have to reform and step up and do better than we have done. Uh, I was very impressed, Commissioner General, by what I saw in Embu the other day when we were there. I have seen the work that we are doing in the north uh, in terms of generating income, using the land that has been given to us, tilling the land, growing and producing food, partly to support the President's Big Four, but most importantly also to reduce our dependence on the Exchequer, as it were. And I want to say this very frankly, we will continue this way. We must use the resources we have been given effectively. And the suspension we announced a month ago on any quarrying activities on any of our premises is still in force. These are public resources. We cannot go and get stones from uh, Kahawa without following an open public tendering process that respects the rules of procurement. We have to respect these are not our resources. These are resources that belong to the people of Kenya, and we have to use them responsibly as responsible officers. Lastly, is to promise all of you, my colleagues, and promise the country that reform we will. And the rapid changes that you are seeing as we move forward are exactly moving in the direction that we have been directed by our president so that we have an improved security sector, a collaborative, inclusive environment where we enable our people to be safe and secure, they access justice, and we respect the human rights of those who come to our institutions. We no longer have that kind of debate about whether or not we are going to respect the human rights of those who are within our custody. We are not only required by the Constitution and the law of the land, but we are also going to be a modern correctional institution and a modern correctional ecosystem that respects the rule of law, respects human rights as it were. So that is a promise we collectively make to all of you, that we will do our best to ensure that this uh, all are upheld. I want to thank you, PS and Commissioner General, I want to thank you for organizing such a brilliant function, very well, uh, you know, and very orderly, very nicely laid out. I'm very, very uh, impressed. And on my own behalf, on behalf of my family, and on behalf of the ministry, I would like to say pole to some of our colleagues. We lost two of our staffers this week in a tragic accident. This is usually a very sad time for us, but we will stand with the families. We will pray for them, that the Lord comforts them, and as our colleagues, we will ensure that we support them through this difficult time. Later this afternoon, I will be visiting with the family, together with the peers and the team from the ministry, so that we can condole with the families and stand with the families, because these are our brothers and sisters that the Lord has brought into our lives through work, and we need to stand together as we provide service to our nation. So thank you very much for listening to me, and may God bless you all. And let us go forth and do good for our country. Thank you.
mtazamaji ni hafla hiyo ya uzinduzi wa magari mia moja ambayo yanafaa kutumika katika magari zetu kote nchini katika hali ya kuboresha viwango vya huduma kwa wakosaji hotuba ambayo imetolewa na daktari Fred Matiangi waziri wa usalama akiwa ametanguliwa na Isaya Osugo kamishi na mkuu wa magereza pamoja na Joseph Boynet inspector mkuu wa polisi wote wakishinikiza na kupigilia msumari ule ujumbe kwamba magereza yetu ama taasisi yetu ya magereza iwe ni taasisi ya kurekebisha tabia lakini isiwe ni mabanda na majengo ya kuweza kuwazogomeza wa kosaji na wale wafungwa na adhabu ambazo ni za kuwaumiza kwa kiwango kimoja ama chingine kwa hivyo magari ambayo unayaona pale yatakuwa yanazinduliwa kama unavyoona pale kwa kutumia bendera ile ya taifa letu la Kenya Uh, kuonyesha tu kwamba ni magari ya taifa hili uh, kuweza kuweka viwango vya uzalendo katika ngazi za juu hafla ambayo inafanyika katika uh, gereza lile la Nairobi West hapa jijini Nairobi. Kumbuka haya yanajiri tu siku moja baada ya mkao ule wa maseneta kuweza kuzuru maeneo ya Eldoret na kuzuru magereza kadhaa wa kadhaa katika hali ya kuangalia magereza yako namna gani pia ni maswala ambayo yanajiri wakati ambapo mwezi mmoja miwili iliyopita kulikuwa na vurumai katika magereza kadhaa humu nchini kisemekana kwamba kuna uhasama baina ya wafungwa na wasimamizi wa magereza na Isaya Osugo akajitokeza na kusema kwamba hali ile imedhibitiwa tunatumai kwamba labda uh, kujishikashika huku kununua magari labda kutakuwa kunasaidia katika kuboresha hivyo viwango vya huduma ambazo zinafaa kutolewa kwa wafungwa ambao wengi kama alivyozungumza Matiangi kwamba hawafai kuwekwa pale gerezani lakini afadhali wafanywe kisi zao wepesi kwa wepesi waweke rumande ili kusiwe na hali ya hasara hata kwa serikali kuweza kutumia shilingi alfu kumi kumzuia mtu tena atoe faini ya shilingi alfu mbili hasara ya shilingi alfu nane kwa wale ambao wanajua hisabati ya haraka haraka kwa hivyo ni maswala ambayo nafikiri ni muhimu kubwa sana kwa taifa ikiwa ni taarifa ambayo inafuatiliwa na mwanahabari wetu Mary Mwoki Mary Mwoki ambaye atakuwa anatuelezea zaidi na kutupasha yanayoendelea katika gereza lile muda si mrefu na mtazamo